Welcome to the program Together with Buddhism. We shall learn together some beautiful knowledge that is inside the Buddhist culture, Buddhist philosophy, and the wisdom. This time, let's see what we are going to learn together. In our life, each time we come across any questions, we are looking for the answers. And technology is our focus in order to seek such answers. So, our human race has been spending a lot of resources, time and money into the development of technology with the expectation to solve all the mystery of life. And the deeper we go into technology, we come to wonder that we have got much more questions and we become more and more ignorant. And then we are still desperate to seek peace and happiness in our life. But there is something in Buddhism that promises the better day and the better life through the very simple practice. He who gives is he who gains. If we give the right stuff, we give the right speeches, we give the right compassion, we gain a lot. It is so common in the Buddhist culture, the villagers, the city people, along the marketplace, the morning is welcomed by the act of giving. The Buddhist monks walk around the villages or the city footpaths to collect the arms. This is how Buddhist people welcome each day. And meditation is the core of this culture. It is the meditation time, so let's start our inner peace. The true station of meditation would always be inside, and it must be in there, inside of our physical body, because Everyone accepts it is only the mind that drives and influences our body to move or gives the direction of our system to work. So the mind must be inside at the point which is able to control the whole body. And it is at the center of gravity that controls the well-being of the body. The center of the body would be accessible by means of meditation. And then, let's close our eyes. Let's breathe deeply into our inner self. Follow our deep breaths in. Follow the warmth 
being taken inside. Feel the passage deeply down there into the stomach. Feel the warmth that finally ends in the middle of the abdomen. It is where every single breath comes to an end, turns out, making a U-turn. This space where our breathing makes a U-turn is the point of gravity, the center point, the center of the body. This is the point where we feel peace and stillness. And in the teachings in Buddhism, this is the way linking heavens, earth, and nirvana. The planet Earth, the heavens, and the nirvana are linked at this center point. If we practice, we place our mind right over here. We are present at the gateway to Nirvana. This is the middle way. Existing at the center, in the middle of our body. Let's enjoy staying, placing our mind in the center of the body for a little while. What we do now is to keep reminding of our mind right here at the center of the body. To keep reminding is to keep our spirit at the center awake, at the gate of the middle way. And we only keep softly reminding of the point, just again and again. Just stay at the station of meditation. 
feel at home each moment we are in here. The mind in the center at the gateway of the middle way is the right mind. The mind becomes right each time it comes back to the center station. Enjoy our own right mind for a while. The right mind belongs to everyone. And the right mind also belongs to the right man. Who is the right man? The right man here means the monk. The man who accepts the 227 precepts of Buddhism as the discipline of his life. He will never kill. He will never step into sexual affairs. He will never drink or take any alcoholic items. He will never stay in the shelter called home. He stays and lives only in the temple, not wearing luxury items, not addressing the violent manner in his life. And most of all, the right man is he who practices well in meditation, because the right man who have the right mind through the meditation. Meditation is the symbol of the right mind. Meditation is the symbol of the right man. The mission of the right man is not ordinary. He will be the best messenger who passes on the peace message and the culture of peace from the time of Lord Buddha. The right man will educate people to be able to gain peace through meditation and live their lives according to the culture of peace. Being a monk is assumed to be the son of Lord Buddha or Buddha Putta. Some people call the monk who achieves the state of Dhammakaya or the monk who can go back to the real nature of the mind as the living Buddha. Dhammakaya is the living Buddha. Everyone who can attain Dhammakaya is considered the right man. Relax a while in the center of the body. Enjoy the right feeling. Enjoy the right mind and enjoy appreciating the right man. Right at the core center of the body, at the innermost, then we can feel, we can visualize easily such tiny star inside the body center. Even though it is not the real, in the vision, even though it's only the visualization, but this will help us 
feel the real nature of the serenity inside our body center real peace and with the help of this visualization we are at the station of meditation we are gradually united to be as one with our true nature to be as one with our center united our unity is established and we understand the feeling of blending as oneness to the gateway of the meditation to the gateway of the middle way by means of meditation stay a while the right mind feels the right centering The right mind feels contentment and we have got a clearer picture of who the right man is the Buddhist monk who keeps the knowledge alive the knowledge of the teachings of Lord Buddha Together with the center, we have the bliss from the right mind and the vision of the right man, the son of Lord Buddha.